Hello, my fellow blessed one. I greet you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I hope this vlog reaches you in good health. If not, we trust in the Lord to heal you. Amen. Hello guys and welcome back to Chim's Cuisine. Today I'm going to show you how to make a beef, a jumbo beef scotch egg. First you're going to start off with a bowl of minced meat. Then you're going to start to add in your red onions, your, gar your chopped up garlic and any seasoning of your choice. I've also thrown in um, a few chopped up gherkins just to add a bit of additional flavour to the mince. Next it's time to boil your eggs. I prefer my eggs medium, but then again everyone has their own personal preference. So I'd say just boil your eggs to your preferred fat. Now that the eggs are boiled, it's time to start assembling our beef scotch egg. After placing the boiled egg in the centre, using the mincemeat around and trying to secure the boiled egg, then once I've secured the boiled egg, as you can see here, I then get a bit more of the mincemeat just to seal it. Now that we have covered all of our boiled eggs with the lovely seasoned mincemeat that we prepared earlier, it's time to fry them. I mean, this is great for those of you that are looking for meals that are high in protein especially the bodybuilders or those of you that just want to increase your protein content. Now that the beef has cooked all the way through, it's time to put this aside and start creating our sauce. our sauce first we need to add olive oil to the pan then we're going to add our finely chopped red onions and our finely chopped spring onions Once we have sautéed our red onions and spring onions, it's now time to add our chopped up red peppers and green peppers.
and two cloves of finely chopped garlic. Now that we have sauteed the vegetables, it's time to go in and add our seasoning. Then leave to simmer for one minute before adding in your can of chopped tomatoes. Keep stirring for 10 minutes until the chopped tomatoes are cooked. You can start to add a bit of water once it starts to thicken, but yeah, 10 to 15 minutes will ensure that the sauce has cooked thoroughly and that you won't have like a bitter taste. And there you have it, beef scotch eggs. I tend to serve this with a side of rice and a nice sauce or you can have it with a side of salad, chips or simply just on their own really. I hope you've enjoyed cooking with Chim's Cuisine. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel and be on the lookout for more quick and easy meals from Chim's Cuisine.